It's Tuesday 9th May 2023 and you're watching Aim On Air where specialising in connecting companies with its shareholders is what we do best. Hello and you're watching Aim On Air. My name is Liam and today I'm joined by Rupert Verko from Cobra Resources. Welcome back Rupert. Hi Liam, thanks for having me again. Uh, it's not a problem. Always a pleasure. This morning, you released an RNS confirming that you have the results back from a 20 hole jewel program, which you are reporting that you've intercepted gold. Can you tell me about the jewel intercepts at White Tank, Clark and Barnes, please? Sure, Liam. Well, we've received results for 17 of 20 RC holes, so we have three holes remaining. Uh, what our results are demonstrating is strike extensions and up dip extensions at both Barnes and White Tank. Uh, we have a nice intersection at White Tank of 12 metres at over two and a half grams. And that's really demonstrating further resource growth at those camp scale prospects. And then we've uh, increased our strike of gold mineralisation at the Jewel, Clark, um, Gold uh, and Rare Earth uh, prospect as well. Uh, so look, that's all shaping up nicely to be able to update our 211,000 ounce mineral resource estimate for our, for our gold resource. That's just fantastic. And with the 95 Air Corps program also completed, uh, you've announced that you found redox conditions inside a scalable paleo drainage system. What is a paleo drainage system and why is it potentially really good news? Well, um, what it is, it's a, it's a very ancient uh, river system. And why we think it's uh, potentially significant is that uh, through our rare earth journey is we've defined the conditions that we believe we require to retain ionic style mineralisation. And ionic is the type of mineralisation that everyone wants to uh, discover because it's very cost effective to mine, um, uses very little acid and has very little byproducts. And what we believe we've discovered in this paleo channel is the right conditions with significant clay horizons within a geological uh, terrain that is amenable to a very cost-effective approach to mining being in situ leach. So we're very excited about it and we're very eagerly awaiting those results. Ah, that's wonderful news. You are in London this week for the one-to-one -one mining conference. I've announced that before you return back to Australia, you'll be hosting a presentation for private shareholders on the 17th in London. Could you elaborate further on this, please? Yeah, Liam, that's correct. Uh, we're excited to be back over in the UK to tell our story and, and hope to expand our investor base. And uh, at the same time, we're very keen to be able to engage with existing shareholders and provide them the opportunity to ask questions and, and uh, to get an in-hand uh, and in-person update on the company's activities. That's brilliant. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, well, that brings me to the end of my questions, Rupert, and thank you very much for joining me on this interview today. Thank you very much for your time this morning, Liam. Much appreciated. Sadly, that is the end of this webcast, ladies and gents. I'll be catching up with Rupert later in the month for a quarterly catch-up, so please make sure you subscribe so as not to miss that. Until then, my name's Liam, and you've been watching Aim On Air, where specialising connecting companies with its shareholders is what we do best. Thank you.